All right, just done another event. Got to pack up the bike and put it in this truck. Uh, but this is the final pack up, so the solar panel's coming off. I got four bolts on top, the uh, plate at the back, four bolts there. Hopefully, it should be quite easy. Now the trailer's so small with the externally deployed solar panel. Just want to make another video uh, showing uh, some bits about the bike trailer. Uh, I've got to pack all this stuff up now, so uh, it's going to take the train back to Europe without me. That's my latest plan. Uh, so this bike trailer is the Avon Trailer Standard 100. Uh, you would think, I think uh, you can actually fill this huge waterproof bag. I think it goes up to 145 litres if you if you pull it up high, like I had it at the start. Uh, it's absolutely massive, it's more space than you ever, <laughs> really ever need. Uh, so you've got to make sure it doesn't encourage you to take too much stuff with you. Uh, the whole trailer actually only weighs about, I think it's 7 kilograms or something, which when you compare that to a, a steel rear rack and front rack, two panniers on the front and two panniers on the back, which is actually less volume, uh, I think it's, it's about the same weight or maybe a kilogram more. So obviously, I've, you've heard me mention the trailer before, been very happy with it, it's absolutely bomb proof. <laughs> this tiny little invincible wheel uh, is amazing, I've had literally no problems with it. I set it up back in the UK and then uh, haven't touched it ever since. Uh, I really like the trailer hitch on these, on these trailers, it, it's, it's just so simple, uh, there's not really anything that can fail. This is like a, a composite material and you can get this to fit whatever size seat post you have. And then you've got that, that that does the rotation this way. I usually put a little bit of grease inside. And then you've got this other part that does the rotation up and down. So it's simple as that and the pivot point is here. Down the centre line of the bike instead of back here on the wheel. <coughs> which means you've got a, a really good turning circle. You don't have to... It doesn't behave like it's really long or anything like that. That's where the solar panels were mounted on the front. That's where they were mounted on the back. Uh, the only thing I did change was the the tire that came with it was like a hybrid tire. It's like because you can actually mountain bike with these things. Uh, if you look up the go on the Avon Trailers website, you can see videos of people mountain biking with it. So it came with like a, a like a hybrid tire. It was like half on road, half off road. So I just changed it for the for the old Marathon Plus because it so I was mainly going to be on roads on my trip. Comes with a really nice air suspension which you can pump to the the pressure that you need for the weight. Uh, yeah, I really can't say enough good stuff about this trailer. Solid aluminium construction. Uh, it's just absolutely bomb-proof. Uh, I think if I was gonna if I was gonna do the trip again, I'd probably add the suspension in the highest uh, the highest point, uh, which means the trailer's at its lowest. Uh, I'd probably raise it up one or two. Just helps you get up curbs a little bit easier. Because the amount of times I've smashed this thing into a curb is uh, is quite funny. Uh, but it takes it, no problem. Uh, so what I'm going to do now is try and dismantle it. Uh, the first thing to do is take the seat post out, which is really easy. You just obviously you pull the seat post out and the trailer's off, nice and simple. You don't need to mess around with any random bolts or anything. Uh, then there's two bolts here. This takes off the arm. I'm going to put the arm back inside the trailer. And uh, to get the wheel off is obviously it's just a quick release. You take the wheel out. You can take this bolt out and this bolt out to get rid of the suspension, and then that one out gets rid of the swing arm, and you can just put it all inside. I might actually leave the wheel on, uh, but it's very easy to do if I want to change your mind and take it off. All right, got it off the bike. Now it's just some sort of like weird wheelbarrow. <laughs> it's pretty amazing how light this thing is for the size of it, and I've actually got quite a bit of stuff in there. Uh, the bag's pretty full, not like when I started, but. All right, uh, what's next? Take these two bolts out and get it packed into the bag. All right, that's the arm off. Two six mil bolts in there. It's like a square connector block kind of thing. Uh, I'll stick that inside the waterproof bag. And uh, yeah, that's basically it for dismantling this trailer. Uh, like I say, you can take all the back off and then it'll be only to here and you just uh, give a, like a bucket 
uh, size. Um, but yeah, like I've said, extremely happy with it. I mean, it's got 13,000. It's done 13,000 kilometres, and you wouldn't guess it. Uh, I'll make some more videos in the future, giving uh, just quickly showing you how to make some of these attachment points and uh, about things I would probably change in the future, maybe. Well, the bike's nearly folded up. I might take the seat post out and put it in the trailer, uh, but I don't know whether it's totally necessary. We don't even need to take the wheels out. These are uh, cheap. Uh, adjustable stems, you can get them on AliExpress, Ebay, or whatever, they're super cheap. Uh, they're really good for this kind of thing because you can either pull this bolt straight out and get the uh, handlebars off without having to do these four tiny little fiddly screws, or you can just uh, tip it down like this, undo these two and uh, spin, the, uh, spin the whole thing round. And then I'll probably zip tie this bit to the frame to stop the wheel turning. Uh, they're really handy for that instead of having a solid one, and it's obviously proved itself reliable over the last few thousand K. Uh, but yeah, I'd, love, I'd really like to say uh, a huge thank you to the to the guys from Avon Trailers, uh, the company Cyclo Boost. They've been amazing the whole time. They've obviously supported me in this trip. They gave me a discount on the trailer. They're always commenting on all my uh, photos and videos and things. And uh, thank you very much to you guys for, for supporting me on my trip. And uh, thank you to everyone else for watching. So uh, I'll see you in the next video.